Good morning, everyone. Yes, it is 5 a.m. in the morning. Probably about 5.45. It is um, early, early, early. And um, I have been challenged both by externally and internally to do some consistent social media lives and mine will be a five ish a.m. live. So what do I want to talk about this morning? Why 5 a.m. is the way I'm entitling this. I retired in May of 2019. Um, June 1 started my new path in life, post-retirement, um, walking out purpose and destiny um, feverishly in a way that I had never done before. Um, with the momentum, with the um, energy, with the intent, with the laser focus, um, I perhaps, I don't know whether I never had the opportunity or I simply just never did it. But what I do know about that is that God specifically told me, you are to get up every morning at 5 a.m. And so, you know, I had my little eyebrow up and kind of a question as to, okay, in retirement, God, when most people get to sleep in and be leisurely about their mornings in retirement, you want me to get up at 5 a.m. Hmm. Okay. Most of my life, I've been a night owl. I can take that from my mom up watching westerns and um, cop shows like um, Cannon and um, I can't think of any of the rest of them, but most of, the, most of my life I've been a night owl. And then as I, um, you know, grew and my life became an adult, I burned the candle at both ends of the stick. And um, so, being a person that intentionally gets up at 5 o'clock in the morning or in the 5 o'clock hour, that is really foreign to me. But I am clear that I was strongly impressed upon by God to awake every morning, um, every weekday morning anyway at 5 a.m. in the morning. And so why would that be? Why would that be? Well, what I've discovered is that so much is able to be accomplished at 5 a.m. in the morning that sleeping in beyond that hour, I just don't manage to get it done. And so I endeavor to arise every morning at 5 a.m. Every morning to get the absolute most out of my day, to maximize everything that God has put in me, to make sure that it is available to the earth, to the world. And so I will go live Good morning, Virginia. I will go live every morning, probably around 545, for just about 10 minutes or so, to say good morning to the 5 a.m.ers, good morning to those who just happen to stumble on and you're not a 5 a.m.er, um, because... When you're walking out purpose and destiny, 
um, it's it's kind of hard to sleep in. And I am not um, throwing shade to anyone who is not an early riser because we're all different. Um, we all have different things that God is requiring of us. What I know is for me, I've been shifted. I have been a night owl all of my life. And as of June 1st, 2019, that ended. I was then demanded by the purpose that is on my life to get up at 5 a.m. every morning. And so, um, and it has, been, it has been transformative. It has been life-changing. Um, so what I'm going to do, certainly for the next 30 days, because that's my commitment, is to arrive, arise at 5 a.m. and about 5.45, I'll go live. And I'll talk for about 10 minutes, just about um, a particular topic. Tomorrow, I am going to, well, maybe I'll do that for the rest of the day this morning. Um, I'm going to talk about a morning routine right now. One of the things that I discovered in getting up at 5 a.m. is the absolute necessity of having a morning routine. What is the per what how could we really maximize or benefit getting up that early and not having a routine? I was listening to a video um, by Quick, I think his name is Jim Quick, and he talked about how we maximize our time when we have a routine. And so my routine, I'm still um, I am still solidifying it, but primarily I wake. I listen to a morning meditation. I then turn and pull my, my journal off my nightstand and I write 10 things that I'm grateful for. 10 things that I'm grateful for every morning. I do that. The early bird gets the worm. Yes. <laughs> yes, absolutely. And we, Virginia, we've got many worms to get, right? Many worms, many worms to get. That is ours, uniquely ours. So I get up, I give my 10 um, minutes, 10 things that I'm grateful for, and then I will come and get on my knees. It's just, that does something for me. First of all, I'm grateful to still be able to get on my knees. And so I get on my knees and I pray. And then after that, I will likely go into some kind of learning Maybe it's scripture learning, biblical learning, or maybe it's some other learning to grow and expand in this new life where um, God is calling me to be. Yes. And, um, and then I will, um, it depends. I might have some other obligations that takes me outside for just about 15 minutes. And then I come back in and get right back into that morning routine. Do you? When I tell you what I've been able to accomplish from 5 a.m. to 9 a.m. or 5 a.m. to 10 a.m., wow. All right, have a good one. Um, what I've been able to accomplish is absolutely amazing. And um, so my offer to you this morning is if you've been called, to rise at 5 o'clock in the morning, if that's what you've been called. Hey, Rhonda. Wow, it's been many years that we've talked. How are you? Um, if, if this is your calling, if God is calling you to arise at 5 o'clock in the morning, don't dismiss the call. Don't dismiss the pull, the tug, because that there's something that you will be able to accomplish by getting up out the bed in the 5 a.m. hour that you won't be able to if you wait to 6 or 7 or 8 or 9 or 10 or whatever time it is. So I strongly encourage you, do what's necessary. Tell someone to hold you accountable. Set two, three, four, five alarms. Whatever it is that it takes for you to get up out the bed, we have one life to live, only one. And we can maximize our lives. We can get the absolute most out of our lives by 
doing what it is that is requiring of us to uh, get our best. And so for some of us, that is to get up at 5 a.m. That is to get up in the 5 a.m. hour that we can um, catch the worms, as, as Virginia said, that we can um, have clarity of mind. So do you have a morning routine? Um, think about this. When we get up in the morning, there's some things we automatically do. It takes no brain power. We use the bathroom, we wash our teeth, maybe we get breakfast. If we're breakfast people, it takes no brain power at all. But do you ever stop and you think, huh, what do I need to do next? Did I do this? Did I do that? That's wasting time. And using energy that you could be using somewhere else. Hey, sissy. Hey, Ree. Um, using energy that we could be using someone else, somewhere else. A morning roots routine will maximize the, the precious time we have in the morning. So this is, this is um, my challenge for you is to make sure, one, if you've been called to be a 5 a.m.er, go for it, do it. There's so much that we can accomplish within the first five hours than for me, than I would have accomplished in my entire day. I get done in the first four and five hours. So one, if you've been called to be a 5 a.m.er, come on and join us and be a 5 a.m.er and see what you can maximize. And two, it doesn't make any sense to get up at 5 a.m. and waste time. <laughs> so if you've been called to be a 5 a.m.er, please have a morning routine. Know what you're going to do. Have whatever those things that you always do. Know what you're going to do and when you're going to do them. It's not that we're going to be robots or anything like that. But I'm telling you, every minute that we can maximize in being um, our absolute best selves, my goal for the rest of my life is to be the highest and best expression of myself the absolute highest and best expression of myself. And right now, what that means is I must get up at 5 a.m. in the morning. Thank you, sis. I must get up at 5 a.m. in the morning to be the highest and best expression of myself. So, again, I will get up every morning, 5 a.m., somewhere between 5.40 and 5.45, I'll go live. And um, we'll have a mini conversation for about 10 minutes. I send love and peace to you. Um, have an absolutely amazing day. Wow the world with the gift that is you. And I'd like to share this last thing with you. At the very moment that God gave you his exhale, his exhale, he breathed into you. You then forfeited the right to not be amazing. We don't have the right to not be amazing. And for some of us, amazing comes from getting up at 5 a.m. in the morning. I will see you tomorrow morning. Blessings.